everyone, welcome back. This week I'm doing something new, something different, at least for me. I will be attempting to vlog some Christmas content and do some weird, very short version of Vlogmas. We are on a national, is it national? No, local holiday actually. We are five days off from work, so we're probably going to do some fun things. It is Sant'Ambrogio, which is basically the birth date or death date of the patron saint of Milan, who is Saint Ambrose. So everybody's out of the city. More left for us. We are going to have breakfast and we actually have a very special guest with us this week. Very nice. C can you turn around, sir, please? Say hello. Hi. <laughs> so he is our friend's dog. Our friends had to go to New York and he's staying with us for 10 days. I have to say I'm a little scared, but everything will be fine, right? Yes. So after a really nice breakfast and actually a really nice lunch, we just had pasta for lunch, we decided to go to the Christmas market. So in Milan there are actually a few of them. I'm gonna take you guys with me to one of the more family-friendly ones, but I'm probably going to show you around the more traditional center of the city market tomorrow because there is a lot to see and probably going to look at Christmas decorations and just pretty holiday festive things. <laughs> You guys, I really thought we would have something to show you, but what I thought would be a beautifully quaint, relaxing, family-friendly Christmas fair ended up being a sort of like amusement park from hell. I've never seen so many people in my life screaming kids, food impossible to get because the lines were absolutely enormous and they did not accept credit cards. So where the hell am I? Maybe I'll have better luck in the next Christmas market. But in the meantime, I guess we're just gonna walk around the region and find something to eat eventually. guys it's way later unfortunately today's project of showing you the christmas side of milan has been a total and complete fiasco everything was super packed i thought that given that this is a holiday and it's already skiing season the city would be completely empty but apparently everyone had the exact same idea as we did so we went to the market as i said it was super full we didn't eat anything obviously so we thought we'd just go to another place that was nearby it's kind of like a diner it specialized in american food i had some pancakes which weren't that good the restroom was really full we had our friend's dog with us and he was getting kind of restless and tired he's still a puppy so we just came back and i guess we're just gonna call it a night husband is being the superhero that he is making an amazing turkey sandwich and we're going to have our sunday old-fashioned later if you don't know about our old-fashioned you haven't watched my video so i will probably link it here somewhere and then we're gonna watch an episode of yellowstone and just go to bed because i am completely exhausted i mean 
we didn't do a lot but the fact that it's kind of cold and we have a dog to take care of just makes everything so much more energy consuming so i am completely bit hopefully tomorrow i'll wake up have more energy and actually show you the pretty things that we have in the city because there are a lot of just very special little installations the lights are beautiful there are usually some musicians that play live music i just have to kind of schedule better i think that this winging it style of vlog is really bad because one i get anxious about actually just coming up with things the last minute and two it doesn't really make sense all together and it's not interesting for you guys so i promise tomorrow will be a more exciting day is this an epic sandwich or what oh yeah hello everyone I am vlogging in public. This is a rare sighting that will just stay in the history books for ages. As I predicted, today is a much more festive success than yesterday. I am in the city center and we have one, the Christmas market, which is just phenomenal. Of course, it's an Italian version of a Christmas market, so you're not going to get those classic Christmas foods that you get in other parts of Europe. You actually get sausage and you get cheese and you get panettone and just classic Italian dessert. And actually, we are very lucky because here in Milan, we have two Christmas trees. So we have one inside the Galleria Vittorio Emanuele, which is basically the one that they sell to companies that want to do advertising and want to kind of decorate it with their theme and this year Swarovski is the supporter of that but we have a second Christmas tree which is in the middle of the Piazza del Duomo which is where our main cathedral is which is actually where I am right now and as serendipity always follows me around Today is actually the official day of the lighting of the Christmas tree. So if we are in time and if we are able to see it, I'm gonna show it to you guys because it is pretty magical. The tree in the central piazza is actually a natural tree. So you kind of get that natural feeling and it is just very Christmassy. I am so used now to artificial trees and to just weird plasticky Christmas so it's nice to have a natural tree so yeah I'm gonna show you everything I'm gonna eat my heart out do a little bit bit of shopping if I can and we'll take you guys with me yay in the traditional classic official Christmas tree and it is encrusted with Swarovski crystal. Inazione perché è arrivato il momento di accendere i magic. 3 2 1 Okay, can we just take a moment to appreciate the beauty and eternal glory of fried pastry? Magical. Well, good morning, everyone. I feel so much better now that I have actually seen some true Christmas spirit around me. Today, we are going out to lunch and as I mentioned yesterday, I did do a little bit of shopping. So before going out, 
I wanted to show you kind of what I got, maybe get ready together to make this face a little bit more presentable and just show you the new products that I purchased. So basically I went to Sephora because I needed to get a makeup remover. I actually had already purchased one, but the one that I ordered from Look Fantastic from LMS hasn't arrived in time. So it was basically not properly taking up my makeup, which I hate. So I went to Sephora to get like those travel size bottles of makeup remover. And I went for one of my favorites, the Clinique Take the Day Off, the little travel size, which is great because I'm not gonna use it a lot. When my Elemis comes in, I'm just gonna use that. And this one I can always take with me when I travel and I love it. And within the skincare range, I didn't get this at Sephora, but I got this at Caudalie, which is their Resveratrol Lift Serum, which I've heard great things about. I think it is a little bit light for this time of year, but I'm really liking it. I feel like it gives some plumpness to my face. I might have to get a proper moisturizer to put over this, at least during nighttime, just to kind of address some issues because I do get a lot of dryness around my nose. You'll have seen in this vlog actually when I was eating my turkey sandwich that here it seemed like it was kind of sweaty, kind of oily, but it was actually just a balm that I have to apply because it gets flaky and really hurt. So that is something that I always have to be on top of. Otherwise it looks like my nose is actually dirty. And in Sephora, I always like to get those little pads. These ones are great because they're pretty big. Can you see like clean your face really well, given that it is larger, you just feel like you don't have to use as many and it doesn't peel off. Really great quality and costs basically nothing. It's the same price as a regular cotton pad from the drugstore. So I always like to get the Sephora one. I also got these, but these are not from Sephora, obviously. <laughs> they are from the Christmas market. My mom loves these things. How do they call them in English? Here we call them torrone which is basically a kind of soft, sugary, marshmallowy thing that we add little fruits or chocolate or nuts to. My mom is completely obsessed with the raspberry ones and every Christmas I buy her some. Okay, getting back to beauty, which is what we are all here for. I got this little kit from Rare Beauty. I know Rare Beauty is not a new thing, but they have just landed in Italy. And I wanted to try a few things from the brand. I have never tried anything. I've heard their concealer is really good. Their foundation is really good. But since I'm not in need of any of those base products at the moment, I got this little kit that has a blush, a luminizer, a matte lip cream, and a universal volumizing mascara. I've heard that the Do It Liquid Blush, which is the one inserted in this kit, is really good, so we'll see about that. I really wanted a new eyeliner as well, and I got the Charlotte Tilbury one. This one is in a brown, classic brown. Heard good things about it, let's see. And then, when I realized that I had products to show you, beauty products, I thought, well, I can't just show you this, I have to show you more things. So I went to Kiko. And I guess I went a little bit overboard. So we'll see them together as well. So yeah, let's get the show on the road because it's a lot to show you. So the reason I also wanted to sit down and talk to you is because something very exciting happened this week, which is the fact that we have reached 100 subscribers. I think that is completely crazy. I know that there are people with millions and millions of subscribers, so I'm not saying that I am officially a YouTuber right now and that I can quit my day job to do just this, but I am quite happy because 100 people subscribe to this channel, 100 people are watching these videos or at least one video, are interacting, are just leaving comments and asking questions and telling me about their stories, which is always so cool to hear about. I guess YouTube is one of those platforms that make you feel so connected to your audience because they are actually taking the time to 
watch content, clicking on a thumbnail of a video is not the same as just being automatically shown videos on your Instagram feed or on TikTok. So I feel like it's a real bond. It's really cool. So thank you guys for subscribing and for supporting the channel. I know that I am not huge and that it could be a lot better in technical terms. I mean, look at this lighting, look at this sound, camera, whatever, we'll get there. But also in terms of the frequency of my posting, I sometimes miss a week because like I said, I do have a day job and things just get kind of complicated. I'm still getting the hang of it. And I really want to produce more content and have a clearer vision of what the channel is about. But in the meantime, I'm really glad that the content I'm creating is appealing to you. And as always, let me know in the comments down below if you want to see something, if you have any questions and information to share, it's really appreciated. And I'm sorry if the lighting is awful, but I really did not feel like pulling out my softbox for this. If it was an actual tutorial where I'm actually able to tell you something or teach something about makeup application, I would pull out a decent light, but right now I'm just in front of my window, which is why we get this amazing background. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's see this. I'm really excited about this pencil actually, because I see a lot of makeup artists that use them for the exact purpose that I want, which is just applying it and blending it out a little bit. You can see that it is a beautifully deep, deep chocolatey brown. Should I scoot you over? This is getting so professional, I can't even... So yeah, it blends out really nicely. I think it is a great pencil to put on if you don't want like a really permanent gel-like finish. Just a little bit of detail on the outer corner to give you that cat eye. I like it. Oh my god, that brow. This brow hates me. And honestly, in real life, it looks normal. But on camera, I don't know what happens. It has a life of its own. You know what? I really, really like this. I thought it would be overrated and overpriced. But it's actually a great little product to have. I might get it in black as well. Okay, I'm gonna curl my lashes, put on some mascara. Alrighty, let's see what's in the little kit from Rare Beauty. I guess this is the matte lip cream. Yeah, quite a pretty shade. I think it's kind of a pinkish red. Then we have the mascara. This is a huge brush. I am 100% sure that I'm not gonna like this. <laughs> it reminds me of the NARS Climax mascara in terms of brush size. A lot of people like big brushes because they just add so much volume, but my lashes are really fine and they can look spidery very quickly. Then we have this so cute little highlighter. It's the Mesmerite Liquid Luminizer. Guys. And last but not least, the one I'm most excited about is the blush in Joy. It is also a tiny little confection and the color is also kind of a corally, kind of a pinkish, nudie blush color. I think it'll be pretty universal as well. So on to the mascara. Let's see what we think. Never judge a book by its cover and never judge a mascara by the brush. Apply it first. Lessons. I like it. Honestly. In these moments, you can see that I am a complete ignorant about makeup because I cannot tell if I'm going to like something or not until I try it. So there you go. Really like this. So let me just apply concealer really quick. And to blend it, I got from Kiko a brush. This is one of my favorite brushes. It is a synthetic fiber brush that is sold as a concealer brush, but I use it a lot for cream eyeshadow, blending out eyeliner, but it is also really good for concealer. So I needed a second one and I got it. 
and this one is great because it almost acts like a finger so it blends out in a very di diffused but pinpointed way which i really like as a blush i will wear the rare beauty one but instead of applying it directly to my face made that mistake before had to take all of my makeup off so what i do is i apply it on the back of my hand and then i buff it in with a brush it's kind of a flushy gray color to put on alone like if you're not wearing any other makeup products this is quite like a fresh bright flush that just makes you look a lot more awake and you know presentable what a difference blush makes every time it surprises me all right so let's play with some lip products because we have a bunch to go through i've talked before about my obsession with kiko lip products i think that they are some of the best ones in the market they are actually better than a lot of luxury brands that i see around i have tried basically all of them tom ford pat mcgrath Givenchy, dior etc they are all amazing but if you do not have the budget for luxury lipsticks but you still want to get beautiful color ranges beautiful finishes quality in packaging and in products kiko products man it's where it's at so my favorite one is the velvet passion it has a matte velvet finish but it is not dry at all this is the color i got this is color 316 which is kind of a nudie pinky which i love so see it's like this beautiful pinky nudie mauve then i also got the unlimited stilo which is a little bit more juicy and glossy this is color three it is also a nude but it's less pinky let's see if i can show you so this is the matte lipstick and this is the stilo then i got a glossy dream sheer lipstick and the way you open it you just press this little button and then the lipstick comes out the other way i got this kind of brick red color kind of brownish this one is the glossy dream lipstick and finally for a lipstick i got the gossamer emotion creamy lipstick and it looks like this beautiful nude so this one is more of like a nudie, brownie, also more shiny. Something else that I really love from Kiko in terms of lip products are their lip pencils. This is not the retractable one. This one you have to sharpen and it is exactly what I was looking for. I'm always on the hunt for a dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk that everybody talks about. This one might be quite there. You see how creamy that is? Mm it's not exactly a dupe but it's still quite pretty so great for like putting in the outside of your lips and maybe putting on either a glossy finish lipstick on top or even something a little bit lighter to give the illusion of volume and this is it you guys this is everything that i got wait before i leave you these bad boys are not going anywhere today seriously they're driving me crazy i was editing this vlog and they were everywhere like can you just stay put okay guys so now we're going out to lunch we are probably going to check out this place called mercato centrale which is basically a food market where a bunch of different famous restaurants have a place there and you can just try out a bunch of different foods you get asian you get classic italian american napolitan pastries wine beer a whole thing so hopefully it's open because today is a holiday and we'll show you around see you in a little bit i was just about to leave you without any lipstick on so let me do a little bit of the lip pencil and given that i have to put on a mask i might go for the more matte finish i love this color so much Love it. Now we're going.
person in the world right now. I think I went a little overboard. But if you cannot go overboard with food in Italy, what can you really go overboard with, right? So let me show you what I got. So first thing that I got were these little toasts. Can you see? They're kind of little canapes but with ricotta and mushrooms and yes this that you see on the top are truffle shavings then i got this beef stew which has been cooking for about 15 hours with some potatoes and of course a glass of wine that i believe will be the first of many can you eat with someone looking at you like that That was a lot of food. If you come to Milan and see parts of me scattered around the city, it means that I have exploded from eating so much. It was amazing. The place is great. Totally recommend it if you come to the city. The great thing is that it is actually inside the train station, the central train station. So really easy to get there. Awesome if you just need a quick snack or even to have dinner they have a restaurant there highly recommended so great ending to the first part of vlogmas i will try to do one every week i'm not going to make any promises but we will continue with our video schedule as usual so if i don't post vlogmas it'll be some other kind of video i actually have a few things in the pipeline hope you guys liked it subscribe comment give it a thumbs up if you liked it and we'll see each other again next time and tomorrow if the christmas angels are looking down on us i would like to ask them that we have some snow that would be the perfect ending for this video hopefully hopefully that'll happen if it does i'll show you if it doesn't we'll see each other again next week bye Well, you guys, it is snowing after all. Yay! It's more of a slush than actual snow, but I will take it. Thank you, Angels of Christmas.